In this Maths Olympiad video, we're given the equation 9 to the power of x minus 6 to the power of x equals 4 to the power of x. We need to solve this for x. So looking at this equation to start with, let's look for some interesting things that might help us solve this. We can see, first of all, that 9 and 4 are both square numbers. That might come in useful later. We've also got some shared factors. 9 and 6 share a factor of 3. 6 and 4 share a factor of 2. Again, that might come in useful. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do some division to reduce the number of places that x appears. So at the moment, we've got three terms. Each of them has got x in them. If we divide through by one of the terms that already exists, we'll remove one of those x's. We could divide through by the 9 to the x or the 6 to the x. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to divide by the 4 to the x just because that's the smallest of the three. So dividing that through, we get 9 to the x divided by 4 to the x minus 6 to the x over 4 to the x equals 4 to the x over 4 to the x. Well, if we've got fractions with the same power top and bottom, we can take that power out. So it becomes 9 over 4 to the x minus 6 over 4 to the x. And that's going to equal 1 because on the right we had 4 to the x divided by itself. Well, 6 over 4, that can be simplified to 3 over 2. Now we can see where those squares are going to come in useful. 9 over 4, our first term, is just the square of 3 over 2. So let's change that to 3 over 2 squared. Now we can see we've almost got a quadratic now. Using our laws of indices, that first term can be rewritten. So if we've got something squared to the power of x, it doesn't matter which way round those powers go. So let's switch them round. We now get 3 over 2 to the power of x, all squared, minus 3 over 2 to the power of x equals 1. So we've got a quadratic in terms of 3 over 2 to the power of x. To make this quadratic easier to solve, let's let u equal 3 over 2 to the x. We'll go from there. Substituting this in, we get u squared minus u equals 1. Moving everything over to the left-hand side, u squared minus u minus 1 equals 0. We've got a quadratic to solve now. Doesn't matter which approach you use, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So substituting this into our usual quadratic formula, we get this fraction here, which is equal to 1 plus or minus root 5 all over 2. One thing to be careful of now is that as u is a positive number, 3 over 2, raised to a power, then itself must be positive. We can quickly see that 1 minus root 5 all over 2 is negative. So this means that u can only equal the positive version, the 1 plus root 5 all over 2. As a quick aside, interestingly enough, 1 plus root 5 over 2 is the golden ratio, which we would call 5. Coming back to our problem, we know that u is equal to 3 over 2 to the x. So setting them equal, we get 3 over 2 to the x equals 1 plus root 5 over 2. We can now solve this using basic logarithms. We've got a base of 3 over 2, because that's been raised by a power. An answer of 1 plus root 5 over 2. So just converting this into log form, we get that x is equal to log of the base, 3 over 2, of 1 plus root 5 all over 2. If you'd like to know what this is, roughly as a decimal, this is approximately equal to 1.1868. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.